First, a quick background in case you don't use Linux. So, this is our pride. The GNOME Tilex Terminal. It has tabs, profiles, we can set backgrounds, it has crazy lots of customization options. And most importantly, it has a very strong pane system. We can rearrange panes, resize them, full screen them, even create new windows with drag and drop. Pretty cool, right? And yet, Microsoft somehow managed to go terminal in a whole new level. Or at least that's the plan, because what are you gonna see, is for now a draft proposal. Before you ask how you can get it, Microsoft will give beta builds later this month. For now, we can only build it from sources, because it is open source. Just in case you didn't know it. As for today, Windows 10 Terminal is pretty much a pre-alpha software. Features are missing, design hasn't taken place, and even the emulator renderer. Has lots of issues. In short, it is not really working. But some things, kinda do. For example, we have tabs, we have profiles, and there is some basic pain support. That is so basic, that we should opt it in, for using it. However, there are lots of pull requests that aren't on master yet, and pretty much every feature available on Tilex, will arrive in Windows 10 Terminal 2. And by the way, there aren't preferences yet. Or more correctly, there isn't a preferences interface, because we can still edit things, from this JSON file. Okay, and all those are very cool, but at the same time very boring too, because we already have them on Tirelix. Nothing new, right? Aha, wrong. Obviously I didn't upload a video to show you all those, those was just for the additional drama. What I really want to show you, and what will make Windows 10 terminal better than any Linux terminal, is this insane proposal. I'm giving like some YouTube description to read. But what pretty much says is this. In every pane, we will be able to load full XAML controls. For example, in a pane we might have a normal terminal. And on pane next, have a calculator, or a music player, or even a web view with documentation. And this, will work with the form of Windows 10 terminal community plugins. And moreover, every pane will load on a separated process like web browsers tabs, so if the pane crashes, the rest panes will keep working.